new shirt came in. So what we sipping on today is this Cider Geist Hard Cider. This is the dry hopped version. You're looking at three grams of carbs per can, 125 calories. It's about to go down. Keto cooking. We about to make the double down sandwich with the cider geist. We got the low sodium bacon. We got the chicken breast with rib meat. That looks live on the chicken. All right, what you want to do, get you chicken breast. I'm going to cut the tail off. I don't know what this, call, I, I call it the fucking tail. Cut that shit off. We'll save that for later. Now, what you want to do, slice it horizontally. So that way, we can make a sandwich out of it. And it might seem thin, because that's what I thought when I first started making these. And, but I realized very quickly, if you start trying to make these with beefy-ass pieces of chicken on each side, it's going to suck. Because you can't fucking eat it. The sandwich is going to be like this big, and it's just not worth it. So you want to cut it pretty thin. I cut the top a little bit thin, but that's all right. I'm not too worried about that. And then, same thing for your other piece. Cut the tail. You want to kind of squish it down a little bit so that way you can get a better idea of how you're cutting it. Get on in there. And how much do each of these breasts weigh? These are a pound a piece. Because it was five, the, this total package was five pounds, five breasts in it. So do the math. Now that we got that there. Sounds like a five by five program to me. <laughs> <laughs> now, what we're gonna do, what I prefer to do with these tails, is we're gonna take these. This one's a little bit wide, so we're gonna cut it in half. And then might as well just do the same thing with the other one. Are we making baby sandwiches? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take these and wrap them in bacon, because why the fuck not? Yeah! <laughs> and I prefer low sodium bacon, because if you take, if you're someone who's being conscious about that, because you retain a lot of water, like my fat ass, get you the low sodium kind, get the fuck out of here! Because <laughs> these, even though it seems like a lot, 160 milligrams of sodium per serving, if you look at, like we were just in the, uh, down the supermarket, and, one slice of bacon was what, like 400 grams of, or milligrams? Oh, yeah, it was ridiculous. So now that we got that, I'm gonna go ahead and season them up. You can use whatever you want. Me, I like to keep options. Stub rubs, shit's delicious. Zero grams carbs, zero grams sugar, keep keto. Get it in there. Rub it in real nice. I don't like to use the fucking like mallets like other people. Fuck that shit. Plus I don't got one. Cause I'm broke as fuck. And also one seasoning that I've been using a lot for bacon is ironically enough cinnamon. Cause it's sweet, makes it taste good. Better than brown sugar. Oh god. I I used to cook with brown sugar, but then I realized... Oh, we all did. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I used to put that in my coffee. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Be cool. No, it was back in my last job. Bam olive oil. You want to get a little bit more on the side you're going to be cooking bacon on?
Now we're going to go ahead and bake and wrap the tails. Why? Because fuck you, that's why. Boom. Make sure you don't try to pull tight, but keep it keep pressure on it. Or I'll just fucking refrigerate them and then just like if I'm not work or something, just fucking just start smashing these little bitches. That's what I did the other night, dude. I made like I think I cut up like three chicken breasts and they're like those big monstrous motherfuckers. They're like two pounds a piece. And just chopped them all up and then just bacon wrapped each and every fucking one of them. I went through like two fucking packages of bacon. Fold your bacon up. Three slices each. Then, the tops. Voila. 